Hi everybody, it's Debbie Sissons and it's another Friday with family. My mom and sister were back today and we're in my sister's uh, kitchen and we are doing strombolis and what we call little pizzas for uh, Christmas Eve or Christmas Day. But we've got an assembly line for our little pizzas. Mom has the recipe, super simple. Mm -hmm. It's a uh, little party rye breads, some pizza sauce. I gotta Mozzarella. turn it the right way. Oh, the cat oh just gosh. popped up. Pizza sauce, <laughs> Parmesan, mozzarella. And then we've already, I'm gonna turn this around, see if I can flip the camera. Okay, we've already done the first step of we've browned off. We tripled the recipe, so my sister browned off uh, three pounds of mild Italian sausage, and now she's going to mix three quarters of a pound of Velveeta cheese in here, and we're going to get it all melted together. I will post this recipe. I'll show it right now while she's doing her her task, but as you can see, one loaf of party hey, rye, is, uh, one pound of sausage, half Velveeta. Uh-oh, my mother's hitting me because she said this is a family secret. <laughs> now I'm out of the will, people. I've just given away the family secret. Welcome to the club, Debbie. This, oh. is, this is the big Amen family secret little pizzas, although I think the rest of our family also has they this have recipe. They recipe too. So, see, she's smiling, so maybe I'm not out of the will yet. Close. Uh, oh, close, close. So you can see that the cheese is melting into the sausage. Um, she's just doing it little by little. I'll turn this off and we'll come back when we're ready to put Ooh. the little pizzas together. That, um, That's ready. Did it look really good it's it's blended excellent see all those cute that sausage meat and Velveeta and then it'll oh there's a if you're not in the piece. US I don't know if there's an equivalent type Just of to, processed cheese yeah but in the US there's Velveeta cheese I think they can get Velveeta it's craft product so you want to bring them over here and we're going to we have all these trays laid out because we're going to freeze quite a few of these because that's the beauty of this. You get it to a certain point and then freeze them until you're ready to bake them on your night you're gonna entertain. Right. But just so we can show you, we'll finish off some from beginning to start and bake them. Right, I think, I think we're... Okay, just maybe bring it on minute. over here, Mom. Here, Mom, right. let me get this. So, what are we doing now, Mom? Well, you put it on your not toasted um, slices of rye bread, mm -hmm. and you want to put on uh, maybe a 50 cent size dollop, and you don't have to smash it down too much because it's cheese, and of course, you all know that it melts and it'll do its own spreading. But other than that, Jenny's doing a bang up job. Awesome. And so she, then we just bake them. Well, she put a little dollop on and then now you, you do pizza sauce, right? Yes, ma'am. Teaspoon of, or tablespoon of pizza sauce on each one. And then you sprinkle Parmesan on, the grated Parmesan. About how much of the Parmesan, that's, yeah, how much of the Parmesan do you sprinkle on? Oh, not that. <laughs> Obviously that you sound could is no. add more. <laughs> so now, on your plate. Jenny's going to finish these. And if you were just doing this ahead, this is the last step you would do before you freeze them, right? Right, right. So, so you get them all on the cookie trays like this, baking trays, right. and put them in the freezer for how long to get hard? A couple hours or? Well, you can test it. You can, you'll be able to tell. And then you just put because them in Because the meat is fatty and that will, oh. you know, congeal. 
So then you put them in baggies and right. How they long? have to be real frozen and just so it's long. That looks, okay. That looks good. It's a starter. Now you can well, always first we add more put, Parmesan after they're baked. Now on the day you're baking them, to say she got these out of the freezer. Does she start baking them for a few minutes before she puts mozzarella on? Or does she put mozzarella on before she puts them in the oven? Because the I recipe says... I would put said, the mozzarella on before you put it in the oven. Okay, so put a little on the top and then bake them in a preheated 350 degree oven for... And not a whole lot because you can always, you know... It's hard to take away. You can always right, add more. Right. And that looks perfect. Yeah, don't, don't um, cover that yummy taste with all that cheese. You want to add it at the Parmesan as you want it after they're done. So do you do 350 for 15 and then check them to decide whether you need a few more minutes? Oh, I certainly would. Okay. Everybody's oven is different. Yeah. 15 minutes maybe different there oh. you go okay so we're gonna keep the assembly First line lesson. going and we'll come back to you when those are coming out of the oven money shot of the finished little pizzas they only took 15 minutes but that's probably because they weren't frozen beforehand and Jenny is finishing up a tray we we have four trays four dozen in the freezer and then this is a dozen and a half, almost two dozen, because there's 20 on there. So, and we have plenty here, because like I said, we tripled the recipe. But uh, one recipe, just one, one thing, takes one loaf of bread and some pizza sauce. It doesn't take a whole jar. We did the whole jar for all of one. these. <laughs> <laughs> yes, don't look at the, all the Parmesan. Mom! I am not the person to do this, obviously. Our mother had to leave. Uh, she had an appointment. So that goes in your freezer drawer. Yep, we're going to go and put it. Okay. I'm going to double fist it here. Look at you, you're so talented. We have her outside freezer full, so now we're taking over her inside freezer. So these will freeze for a couple hours and then we'll throw them in baggies. And next Perfect. up, yay, after we try our pizzas. So we have all these loaves of frozen bread here. We're going to be making stromboli in a few minutes. We're back. Now we're making strombolis, which we'll publish that recipe also. It's a loaf of frozen um, bread dough that my sister I showed you the picture earlier she had them out thawing and you roll it out to about the size of a placemat and since my mother I'm gonna steal this real quick to get on camera yeah. my mother uses this cutting board which is about the size of a placemat so that's good you put on your layer of your salami your sandwich size pepperoni pepperoni salami and then mo shredded mozzarella cheese and then we're gonna roll them up you leave about an inch around the edge so you can get get around but you start actually you start on the far edge and roll it towards you and you gotta be really gentle because you're folding up this meat so it's not gonna be quick but you're going to get a nice roll. I'm rolling it up. And you got the seam here. It's going to go seam side down on the baking sheet in a minute. But you got a lot of extra on the end and you do pinch the ends but i use a pizza cutter and cut a little off because you don't the person who gets the end doesn't want a whole bunch of dough so you just seal that together 
and fold it under. And I'm going to do this end. Seal it, make sure it's sealed really well. I'm going to go get my baking sheet really quickly. Put it seam side, see there's my seam. Put it seam side down, and then you're gonna put an egg wash, which is just one or two eggs beaten, and it'll give it a nice golden color. That'll help seal it up also. This looks perfect, my sister rolled this out. She's got um, mad rolling pin skills. <laughs> She's got the muscles. So now we're just gonna put this in her clean oven. She wanted us to point out that she just cleaned it. She cleaned the door, there's nothing on it. So we're gonna stick this in the middle rack for 20 to 25 minutes. And when it comes out, we'll show you beautiful stromboli and we're gonna make about 800 more. <laughs> okay, our first stromboli is out of the oven. We have about 15 more to make. Jenny's over here making another one and we have two in the oven. Baking away in there, getting golden delicious. And so this first one came out of the oven. We let it, we let it cool for about five minutes and now we've sliced it up. You can see our nice slice with our cheese coming out, our pepperoni and our salami. Oh, my fingers, they're not dirty. I made a birthday cake last night and had black icing. So I'm sorry, I have black still under this fingernail. They're dyed black. So I promise they're not dirty. But there is our beautiful stromboli. We're gonna put these in the freezer. We're gonna wrap them in parchment paper and then plastic wrap and have them ready. And when you're ready to serve them, you just put them in a 350 degree oven for 20 to 25 minutes. You just have to sort of feel them. And uh, then you serve them with pizza sauce. I'll post the recipe. Well, we're at the end of our baking day, and we made 16 strombolis and 72 little pizzas. We had a day. I will post the um, recipes in the comment section if you'd like to try them out. You can see our beautiful strombolis here. Um, thank my sister for hosting us in her kitchen, and We'll do another Family Friday in next week or two weeks. We're going to bake a cake next Friday. Yes, we got to bake a birthday cake. Another birthday. We're rounding out November with my niece's birthday at the end of the month. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed our video, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.